YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, we back again. The Trap Check-In. And guess what? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about trash. Actual trash. We got this project done in another two and a half weeks. YouTube, what's good? It's definitely. We're giving y'all great, great content. Are y'all not entertained? So we actually are talking about trash today, but the trash I'm talking about can actually get you paid. I'm talking about these wooden pallets right over here. So let me take y'all back at about a year and a half ago, all right? I'm at home. I was kind of had a half a day of work. I really didn't do much work. And my cousin called me. He just started a box truck delivery business. He said, hey, cuz, you wanna ride with me today? I said, sure, why not? So he came, scooped me up, and I was riding around with him, and I'm like, so what do you do? Like, you got a big box truck that's like 20 feet long. What do you do with this truck? So he's like, no, nah, I do deliveries for Staples. He's doing outsourcing delivery for large corporations such as Lowe's. If he gets a call, he'll do a delivery for them with some pallets. He told me his main source of income was the pallets. So we're riding out, man. We pull up to this private business. I have no idea what this business is. We pull up on the pallets. Now, mind you, we got an empty truck, all right? We pull up on a stack of pallets. There was literally maybe 50 pallets out there. So he walks up, he starts taking a look at them. He's counting them and one of the owners ran out of the building and started screaming and yelling like, hey, what are you doing? Don't touch these. As my cousin's like, hey, fine, I'm not, I'm not here to steal any of your pallets. I'm actually a legitimate business. I actually sell pallets. I have a truckload of 50 on my truck right now. The guy looked at him and said, you know what? I'll take 40. Right there on the spot, he, he sold those for $8 a pop to that owner. Right there on the spot, he made $350 like that. All right, so in this, in this stack right here, myself, I count about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You got two over there, that's 12. In this pile over here, we got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, about 20. So right now in the market, the pallet supplier market, you're getting $5 wholesale. So this, this pile right here is about a hundred bucks just sitting here. So let's get into how to start flipping these pallets and making $1,000 a day. All right, so let me give you the rundown on how the business works, all right? So these are wholesale for $5, that was pre-inflation market, all right? We're post-inflation. So what does that mean? The price did drop some, now suppliers are taking only $3 per pallet. But doesn't mean you still can't make $1,000 a day. All right, so how does it work? You find the pallets, where do you take them? Who pays you? If you go on Google, wherever you're located, what city, and you're gonna Google a local pallet supplier. All right, these are huge warehouses you're taking the pallets, you're basically dropping them off and they're paying you out for each pallet. Now, there are standard sizes, okay? They pay more for the standard sizes, okay? Standard size is 48 by 40. The reason why this business is amazing is because there's little to zero overhead. Literally, all you need is a pickup truck or a box truck. Now, you might say, hey, Carlton, I don't own a truck and I don't have money to, to buy a box truck. Rent one. The daily rate for the Home Depot pickup truck is maybe $18 a day, all right? You fill up your tank. If you find stacks like these behind Lowe's, Home Depot's, public shopping marts, okay, you're gonna look for large plazas. You can find these pallets anywhere. Don't forget, you got Craigslist, you got construction sites, the side of the road. They even have apps where people are donating pallets. Um, also Craigslist, all right? So you got tons of spots where you can find these. You'll have plenty of places to go within your diameter of the county or the city that you live in, all right? 
So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna jump back in the whip and we're gonna go look for some more pallets, okay? Come ride with me. It's literally free money. So like I said, the business itself is pretty super easy. Anyone can do it. Doesn't take much. Uh, the average Joe can do this every day and make a killing. Now, if I were running the business, how I would do it, I, I would probably get up early every morning, maybe around seven. Uh, I would definitely hit some construction sites, large construction sites, or even if you see new construction homes being built, pallets are being delivered there too. So I would probably hit those areas first. And from there, I'll probably circle around a few dump spots. I would wait to after, you know, 12 lunchtime where most big corporations like Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, grocery shopping centers, the mall, after they receive their delivery in the morning. So you probably want to wait till around lunchtime to start hitting those spots. But man, the, the, the opportunity is crazy. Previously, uh, before inflation started last year, 2022, they were paying $5 per pallet, which is amazing. But since inflation has hit, it's dropped down to three bucks for the standard size. So what does that mean? Um, me, as a businessman, as a hustler, as a pure entrepreneur, I will have a standard for every day, Monday through Friday, on how much money I wanna make. So if we're trying to make a thousand bucks a day, you're gonna take a thousand and you're gonna divide that by $3. So I happen to have my calculator with me. So we got a thousand bucks. All right, can you see that? We're gonna divide that by three. So I need to find 333 pallets per day. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Carlton, <laughs> I'm gonna get my hands on 300 pallets a day. You'd be surprised. There's delivery every day at every normal operating business. But don't forget the story I told you about my cousin. These private companies are paying up to $8 per pallet. So you can cut the work in half if you build relationships with companies that actually need those pallets, you could probably cut that down to about 150. If they need a daily dose of pallets, there you go. So if you can cut that down to 150 pallets, you can easily find that. Also, don't be small-minded. If you gotta travel an hour here, let's say, say twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday, I'm gonna go to this city. So if you're in Orlando, let's just say, hey, I'm gonna go I'll go to Daytona today, find me some pallets. So if you're in Miami, oh, I'm gonna go up to Broward. Or I'm gonna go up to Palm Beach and find some pallets. So don't limit yourself because this business is all hustle. It's pure hustle. So the more work you put in, the more pallets you find, you'll definitely make $1,000 a day. All right, so check it out, man. I've been riding around. Here we go. I'm behind this uh, shopping center. It has a couple of places here. I think this is a bad cog, but here we go. Uh, let me get out and see if I can measure these. We've been driving around for like 10 minutes, by the way, so it didn't take long to find these. So yeah, these look about four feet long. That's the standard size. So right here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, another $21. So look, I found these in about 10 minutes riding around. You ride around your city, man. $21 in 10 minutes. The average pay in America is $15 per hour. You do the math. If you could find these on the regular, trust me, you'll be making big bang. All right, so I want everybody on this video, if you found it helpful or useful, leave some comments in the comment section. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all the love that we're getting. We are out.